Cool, so is that how hard you would kind of hit it on a par five? Yeah, I would. I probably wouldn't hit it a whole lot harder on the course than okay. that. Okay, so that's where we're at, 107, 161. That's yeah. perfect smash too. Yeah. Since we tweaked that driver the other day, is it going? Way better, yeah. Because that launch and spin is... It's good, eh? That's pretty much money. Yeah. Angle of attack's good, path's good. So all your, so you're certainly at that point where swing technique is it's gonna be hard good to enough. Improve. Yeah. Yeah. Like the delivery's great, angle of attack's good, smash is perfect. I assume from a data perspective, yeah, it's within. Yeah. In fact, it's a little further than what it should be going, right? So you completely optimal. The only way to hit it further at this point is. Getting bigger, because how much are you weighing? 64, 65. 65 kilos, how many pounds is that? It's 135, I would say. Okay, yeah. yeah. And the, so yeah, 108 effectively, 160 something odd ball, ball speed. speed yeah. yeah, so I think for that weight, you're probably tapping out pretty much too. Ex exactly. And the swing's good. And then obviously, you're a good player, played college golf. What do you, uh, just started your Attempt at being a professional yeah, golfer. Being professional, yeah, turn pro in January. So, and then handicap scoring wise, what do you? What did you get down to when you, if you were keeping what plus five? Yeah, plus I think plus four point something. Yeah, so you're still about there. Amazing yeah. short game. Yeah, definitely don't need to. Ridiculous putter. We just got to get more strokes gained off the tee. Because yeah, I suppose exactly. if you were to look at yourself in a wagon wheel, you'd be like probably strokes gained putting would be up there, like sensationally 100%. illegal. Yeah. Kevin Na kind of thing, and then your short yeah. game, scoring game, anything would still be approach play, would still be really high, and then you're probably losing. You'd be neutral with strokes gained on a good driving day. Yeah. Correct? I would say Purely because so. you only hit it that far. Compete, we're talking compared to tour player level. Yeah. Um, and then if you were to, the goal would have to be to get this carry figure from around 250 meters up to 270, 275 yeah, meters. Yeah, Definitely. Correct. So and it's I'm a massive. To work pretty hard. Ten percent right effectively now. further carry would be good. Two seventy five, two eighty carry. Yeah. So that means the ball speed we have to get it to. Whoa, I think by the end of the year, if we could say the goal's one seventy five. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I think one seventy would be my sort of. Yeah, what's well, tour average right now is what one seventy one. Yeah, exactly. And you want to be above average for the for the fun yeah, of it. Why not? So one seventy five club speed. We need to get it to one sixteen, one seventeen. Yeah. On a comfortable one, normal on the golf course. So if you can have a golf course 173, 174. Exactly. So that means we need to have your all out max. I think if we can try crack 180 this year. Yeah. Is, I think the goal is to keep, to, to gain speed, but not have to try any harder to hit it first. Yeah, yeah. Well, we need to get that max to 180. Exactly. And then you can and go on the golf course exactly. and hit golf course swings at and take 172 it down a bit. optimized which will carry to 70 meters 300 yard carry quite 100%. comfortably which makes golf a lot, a lot easier with your wedge game and putting exactly i would assume that will be uh, a recipe for low 60s yeah and, and driving's always been a probably been the only achilles heel you've had exactly yeah and um, i assume by hitting it that much further the fun will yeah exactly Motivate if we achieve this goal more. purely just for fun yeah exactly i'll probably <laughs> play twice as much yeah, testosterone count will double, triple, yeah. <laughs> whatever. Exactly. Cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the whole, we'll do the stack baseline. Okay. And uh, effectively, when you asked what is the stack, yeah, I think the best way to, to look at that is probably going to be online. And that will come up with, the, you know who that is? No, I, he's familiar though. Well, he's a long drive driver, isn't he? Yeah, he's a long drive guy. Marty Borgmeyer right. is the guy. Obviously, if you're in New Zealand and you pops up, it pops up there, and then you can, uh, if you wanted to, that'll that'll send you off oh, to, nice. to my website, cool. where they all are chilling out right there. Um, but on there, and then, so what it does, how it works, the only thing that makes Stack special, yeah, no offense, but the only thing that makes it special is the app. Right. It's very similar, probably, to like Ripstick, where you have different weights to pop in and out. Absolutely. Um, it saves the effort of like with tour sticks where you have three, maybe four sticks if you had C-tape or two. And instead of just swinging it and, and maybe calculating it, what the stack does is it uses specific weights per session right. based on where you're at with AI learning 
and it caters to your development. So it gets a baseline and says, this is where you are compared to everybody else with your right. size, weight, physique, age mainly. And then it takes you through the progress and every session's a little different. You have, you have five weights, you change the weights per session. You learn to change the intensity too. You have something which has full intent, which is basically as if you're standing on a par five, that. full send. Right. Not like a narrow par four where you're bunting it, Chipping full it. intent. Yeah. And then you also have max intent, which is like faster than you'd ever want to go. Right. And that's the main goal is to increase the max, which drags up the full, which drags up the on course. Gotcha. And through the series of using different weights, having different that, uh, it drags you. And also the bonus is having the feedback from the app. Like when you're swinging, you'll have like, you'll go in a set and you'll be like, when you get say six, seven sessions in, right. you would have already done that weight once before and it'll have how fast you did go. Right. So you know how fast you should be swinging that. Yeah. And if you do achieve that like goal, that. then it has a little pat you on the back, fireworks goes off, yeah, new perfect. personal record, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> But what it does do is, unlike when you're doing, um, you, you stand there with like speed sticks and you're just swinging away. Yeah, there's no way to measure it. Well, no, you use a, a law, you can have a personal one like the PRGR, which you'll have. Yeah. And you'll gather it. If you were really analytical, you could be yeah. popping that yourself into a, right. every swing and yeah, right. create your own spreadsheet. You could do it, Yeah. but then you wouldn't know whether you should go heavy, 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 light, light, heavy, heavy. Right different levels of intent, no different science. drills and whatnot, which is what the, the app is. And what happens when you get the stack, you buy it, it gives you two years of the stack app free, right. and then I assume their business model is to keep you doing it. Right. So the product's designed to be a, like a, a lifetime thing, right. not a six week gain of speed. The idea is to take you from where you are to where you physically could potentially be at. Right. So one would assume with your age, physical capabilities, if you got yourself up to 150 pounds, whatever, you'll probably find that the fastest 150 pound guy in the world probably swings at 120 something yeah, and has right. 187, 190 ball speed. Yeah. Even though he's tiny, you'd still be a 190 guy yeah. out there. If you were six foot Definitely. two and 220 pounds, all of a sudden you'd be comparing yourself to like Justin James or whatever. Yeah, exactly. So it's just a case of, of building your way up there. That's what it looks like there, Yeah. the different weights and, and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna download the app onto your phone. Unfortunately, there still has to be a, an iPhone. If you haven't got an iPhone, you'd have to have an iPad. Right. I don't think they've generated the Google they version yet. Android app. Unfortunately, but I, I am aware that it's definitely under development because there's certainly a market for it, but I assume yeah. they'll just do a web browser that you'd be able to use. Yeah, cool. And then, uh, yeah, that's what it looks like when you get your new speed record and it gives you an estimated distance and, and whatnot. Right. Obviously, it's an estimated like, distance like for an absolute perfect flush at that same speed. Yeah. But for guys that have done zero speed training, you haven't done any, eh? No, none before. That generally is a ridiculous um, early, like when you go to the gym and there's early mass gains. Yeah, exactly. You get the same thing here. Like you get that gains. first five to 10 mile an hour really quick. And, and then, then from there, it becomes up. a mile an hour a month. Yeah until you reach your physical peak, which you go, all you want to do is maintain. Yeah, exactly. So I, I'd assume, I say, and by end, what do you want? So our goal this year is to get you to the 180 kilometer. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be a lot be of fun, good. right? Exactly. Be a lot of fun. No so cool, we'll go we download can't. the app, and we'll take you through the baseline test, which consists of your current full and 10 speed with driver, yeah. and then you go through different weights on the stack, left and right hand, and then you'd start from there. They generally, the app also tells you when to train, right. gives you windows, and it records everything for you. So it keeps right. you accountable. And you put notifications on, yeah. and you'll just be sitting there, and bing, pops up. Time to, some, Time to go stacking, which is great. And it gives you a grit score to keep you focused, which shows 100% would be you did the training every time exactly when you meant to. And then as you get lazy, the grit score show falls nice. off. Okay, so good. it keeps you accountable. It's good to have something. It's like a little personal trainer for speed training. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, it's certainly the, it's not super quick at getting you more speed, but it will, the fastest way still to get more speed yeah. would be to do speed sessions where you hit 100 to 150 balls, yeah. max intent, two to three times a week. Generally leads to injury, but will also <laughs> get you the most speed, but then you can't play golf. So it's a good way to get exactly. that slow yeah. progress. All right, so let's get into downloading the app okay. and uh, get into a session 
now that we've got some reasonable sort of normal baseline numbers, because those are pretty much three, four good strikes. Yeah. Or on a rope, <laughs> or around 300 yards. Yeah. And hopefully in six months' time we're sitting here and that total says 300 meters, 330 yards, not uh, 270. All right. App store. Search the stack system. Get, and then uh, we can. Uh, Double tap and blur all the rest out. You just got to uh, it'll use your face ID. Cool. What a beautiful gentleman. Cool. So it'll start downloading that. Cool as. Exciting. A nice new freshie for you, Chief. Perfect. How good. So once it's downloaded, you unscrew that, and that's your little personal serial code for the life of the stack. Right. You can get rid of the the wrapper. Cool. Here we go. Already in. Cool. And then it's just a series of real simple questions. Continue. Yeah. Go through all that. Basically explaining what I just explained. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then you're going to go activate serial code and you're going to cool. use the little code that's hanging out over there. I'll get your PRGR ready. Actually, for the course of today, we can just use my one and you can get some batteries for that one. Under control? Yeah, under control. Yep, just sign in with Apple and it'll be the same thing of just using your pretty face. Activate my first two. Yeah. That's good. They've They've adjusted that because it used to say one year and then you get your second year free. Nice. They've made a few upgrades in the last little bit on the app, which is fantastic. It's awesome. Okay. Play a play video and then you can just skip it. It's just a safety video telling you when you, when you tighten it, have it tightened properly and right. don't stand there when someone's swinging and all the typical American stuff so they don't get sued. Perfect. Just yeah, up there. There's also a putting thing now. <laughs> that really? gives you Yeah, it helps you train to get uh, strokes gained on putting. So it takes you through a game that Sash has also developed wow. on the green. So you play 18 holes with different putts, different breaks. You plug in your results, and then it gives you a strokes gained on putting. So it's just right. a putting game for practice, but it's another little feature that I assume they're just going to, because of the way their model is going to work, you buy the product, and I assume the software is just going to keep evolving. Right. Obviously, all your data is flying up to the, the cloud, shall we say, yeah. and they're gathering everyone's speed data to make it better and smarter and better and smarter. Right. But I assume how it, um, all the little side hustle games, I assume, will just keep expanding. Right. Uh, 290 yards for my average distance, do you think? Just get a little louder. It's yards? Yeah, that's yards. Oh, I'd be going. 300? Yeah, okay. 300 yards is the average. Continue. Measurement device, we will be using a PRG black. Measurement units, miles and hours, always mm -hmm. good. Adult stack. Right handed? Left handed. Right handed. Right, right, and male. Hopefully. 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 And then you're just going to go foundation, which is always the best place to start. If you're really specific with yourself, you could, but foundation is great. It just mm -hmm. gives you um, where to start. Yep, warmed up, blah, 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 blah. Performing yep. a dynamic warm up. We know exactly what's going on with that. This baseline test should be complete. Yep, cool. So we get a little drrr, cool. This opening. Yep, we know what's going on there, Chief. Cool. So we're going to have 10 swings. Okay. With driver or with, with driver? Get down. Oh, yeah, baby. 
Yeah, same again. Look at you, mate. You haven't missed a fairway. I don't know how much title is to paying you for that driver. But... Yeah, I know. One twelve. Not enough. Cool. <laughs> Not enough. No way. Cool. So it's the same level of same level of intent. It generally gives you a rest time of like three minutes per set. Right. Which is sometimes good. Sometimes you're gonna get like, man, I'm gonna get cold again. Yeah, exactly. If it gets too long, I think it's just good to rejuvenate. And then you'll probably want to have one or two practice swings before you start to record the next swing, Got like it. you would on the golf course. Try and make it as fair as possible. Cool. So that's the 175, uh, 195. Again, tighten it. Make sure it's tight enough. So that it doesn't go flying off. But again, even if it was slightly loose, it you'd hear it. Right. It's not actually gonna come off, but you know, make sure cool. it's tight. Yep. Cheers, mate. Hybrid length. Okay. And with that weight, it has the same torque on your body that a driver does. That's how you figured out the length. Is the weight matched with speed it has the same reactionary force on you. Right. Okay. As crazy as that sounds. I like it. Yeah. So you're a bomber. That's your baseline. The good thing about having a baseline like that, yeah, it's easy to see progress. <laughs> that really did feel like I was swinging as hard as I could. I know. I bet, honestly, when you were swinging the driver, it was only 94 mile an hour. Yeah, wow. Without the ball, put the ball there, you just instantly get faster. But if we can get this base movement faster, that will just make the ball faster. No you think so, we'll find There's out. There's no doubt. We'll think so. Cool, all right, so unscrew it, and you're gonna to go to 280, which effectively is, and it, if we go back to, we tap back on that, it'll show you the weights that you need to have. So 100. It shows oh, you all okay. the weights, you don't have to try and figure out the math. But effectively, it's, so, no, I wish it was, it's effectively everything but the 20 gram weight. It'll feel dramatically different, because that 280 grams is, is some mass. It's a mess. It's some mess. Let's do it. All right, so when you're ready, we'll uh, dive into that part of it. Cool. I am ready. Oh, you're right about feeling different. But it's not that much. 78. Swing one was 78. Right, this one's going 80. Look at you, already challenging yourself. Perfect. Oh, 79. 82. <laughs> Faster with the weight. Swing three was 82. <laughs> so what will happen is, um, and that's why having the numbers, like having a launch monitor like that, yeah. having the number feedback, yeah, exactly. and this, it just motivates you to get faster. 100%. That's why just out there swinging speed sticks or spinning a speed without any feedback, it's just like... What's the point, right? Exactly. There is... You're doing the right thing, but with no purpose. I yeah, guess. yeah. You've got to have feedback. Practice without feedback is exercise, right? Yeah. Go for a walk instead. So 145. Yeah, 100. percent It really is quite simple. It is very simple. Very simple. Even for punters like me and you. Exactly. Right? If I can figure it out. <laughs> and that's half the part of the training is to get your body used to going overload and underload training. So yeah. Heavy light, heavy light. I like that. Cool. So Come on. Down the path five. Let's send it. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. There it is. Cool, so now we change to a really lightweight, 95, okay. so it's only uh, 75 and 20. These are full effort swings. So. Oh, good swing, bro. Mm. Oh, yeah, boy. 99. 99. Cool, all right, so that's all of those. And now you've got one arm only. One arm only. Yeah, Choose trail an arm. Trail and lead arm. Wow, well, it's gonna tell you, you gotta do trail arm first and then lead arm second. So that's right, it's trail, leaders. Trail, right hand first. Yeah, cool. cool. So it's got no weight on it. Oh, okay. So that you don't uh, beat the shit out of yourself. 
And then once you got all that, foundation is done. You got your base lines, and mm -hmm. then you have to wait a few days before doing it. That's an well, in theory, it's going to give you a prompt as to when the next day you do it would be. But uh, yeah. So have one little practice, one or two little practice swings with sure. that right arm only, just to get a feel for it. Still full and tint. Yeah. Pretty good. Try to not ever hit the ground with it. And try not to hit the ground. Yeah. <laughs> so inch off the ground's good. One hundred. Swing three was one hundred. Cool. A little bit more rest, and then cool when you're ready to go for it. Nice. One hundred and two. And I bet you don't feel like you're going any quicker, right? Eh? Nah. Cool. So that's your baseline done. Cool. Enjoyed that few little questions you have to answer there and how your energy felt. You're going to oh, do it nice. after every session, how you felt, right or right. Because some days you don't feel like doing it and you still do it. Yeah. Does it affect your speed? And It's all helpful for the background data. Cool. Obviously, they're all tricky. I mean, they're interesting how, to, how they gather it because those are all like personal ideas of, you know, How hard it is for you to turn and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. it's good questions. How fast you can swing? Faster strength. <laughs> How quickly do you get to max? I think pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, like you know, you're young, young and able. So that gives you all your baseline numbers, and that stays in the app forever. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it'll take you back to the home screen. It's on foundation. If you ever wanted to go ahead and change program, you just whack it there and then you do another thing. So foundation is what I'll start with, right? Yeah, and it'll basically, it goes through the phases here. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can tap there, get a little on the eye and you can see what your next session's gonna be. And that will change. Mm -hmm. How many swings you have per weight, their level of intensity also changes. When you get to about session, maybe phase two or phase three, it starts to go to, you start to introduce one set of max intent, which is like everything you've got fall over in your face, right. whatever you've got. Yeah. And then obviously the number of swings starts to change. So it starts to get more and more entertaining. And in theory, your session 15 would be different to my session 15 because it will be figuring out how fast you're going in different things. Do you need more weight, less weight? Got you. Right, right, right. So it caters to you. In theory, that's what it does, yeah. which is the whole the goal. So if I, it'll tell me when to do the next workout. Hundred percent. It's really giving you the twenty sixth of March. Okay, and so how? What's that? A few days away. Yeah, it's okay. only about three or four days. So what happens if I was to just go there, to go on it tomorrow and do it? No, it wouldn't let you. You'll find that with speed training, your brain needs to have, and your body needs to have time to recuperate. Right. Which is hard for a guy like you who wants to go foot on the gas, yeah, one hundred fifty exactly. mile an hour. But if you, do it, if you do it, it's good. It also prevents injury, allows you to retain yeah. speed over time. But you'll find that you'll get into it and then it gets to like every two, three days and it actually then becomes a habit. And you can fig figure it in with your gym program, right? Yeah, cool. Whether you do it before or after or... Yeah. And there are other few little options there too. You can do a, a speed priming, which is a pre-round preparation, which okay. I've tried. It's really, really good. It takes about... You warm up for about two or three minutes, and then yeah. you, you do the speed priming, which only takes about 10 minutes. Okay. And then you'll be ready on the first hit, your max speed. Right. It's really good. That's awesome. Uh, so it's and then, like a warm up session. Yeah, and then there's a, a speed priming with balls, which would be, it's close to what we call a traditional max speed training session, mm -hmm. where it takes you through a series of, we'll show you what that looks like. Skip. Continue. So it takes you through, skip. Continue. So it takes you through a series of that with driver at max intent. 
So you have some max swings there, which is different from what you're used to. So you won't have to do that just yet. But when you get into phase two and phase three, and you want to start boosting your numbers, mm. you can throw the odd one of these in there okay. if you find that the gap between sessions is it's too, long. too much and you're okay. hungry and for I'm, more and progress. And my recovery's good and stuff like that. Because here, this is where you actually start to hit golf balls at max intent. And like that last set there where you're having eight at max intent drivers, that's how a normal old school speed training thing is you hit like 80 balls like that. Right. Where you just drip and sweat. But your speed numbers and your clubby speed numbers and so this thing will measure club speed when I hit it. It gives you both club speed, ball speed, and estimated distance. Okay. If you absolutely flushed it. But the club and ball speed numbers are amazingly close to Trackman or on, quad. On this thing here. Yeah, it's wow. mind blowing. Really? And if well, you're it was close to Trackman. Yeah, yeah, and then if your ball striking's good, which it is for you, the carry numbers will actually be Right. So you can even use it for wedge play and bits and pieces like that if you wanted. That is quite cool though. But yeah. And then also the other little Return to form as if you had an injury or a break and you were in the middle of whatever just brings you back. And then there's that other thing too, which is the, the putting beta, which is still very fresh. He goes through it and then it takes you through a series of, of different eight. Like I said, you play 18 holes and it starts to actually give you, um, creates like a player profile for you, mm. strokes gained and putting, which is really interesting. interesting. For a speed training unit to come with a mm. putting aspect is, um, yeah, is is really really different. All right, so that's that's everything there. How do we get out of there? Speed training. I'll just get back to that. So yeah, that's it. And then awesome. just make sure that all the notifications and stuff are on. Yeah, yeah, it should be all there. Speed units. Send workout reminders, maybe. Bop. There you go. Yeah, got to make sure that's on. Show dictation that text, pop up, show that. pop up videos. Yeah, cool. All good. Job done. Too easy. Cheers, bro. So That's good fun. So it begins. <laughs> yeah, I know. The road to 180. 180 one straight, bro. Let's do it. Yeah, it used to be 180 meters down the fairway. <laughs> now yeah. it's 180.